Hi, welcome to your channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. I'm your host, Dr. Ghosh, and I'm back today with another very inspirational and transformational video for all of you. Friends, the video I bought for you to today is all about a very inspirational young child woman revolutionary who preferred to be burnt alive rather than disclose the whereabouts of her father who was leading the mutiny of 1857 against the British authorities. A very inspirational video. Her name, Mainawati Nana Sahib Peshwa, at a tender age of 14, became a martyr for Bharat's freedom. She was captured by the British and they tortured her for the location of her father, Nana Sahib Peshwa. They warned her if she did not disclose the location, they would set her on fire. She did not share the information. Rather, she replied that I am the, son, the descendant daughter of a revolutionary and I would rather die than disclose the whereabouts of my father who is leading the mutiny against the British. She was burnt alive, post-trying her legs and tied to a tree. This young girl did not utter a scream but martyred herself for our country. I'll be sharing more about Mainawati Nana Saheb Peshwa shortly on the video. But before that, I wanted to give you a brief about the channel Generous, Gracious and Gallant. Today on the channel, we have got over 1,230 subscribers and we have already uploaded 402 videos on the channel. I thank all my subscribers. Thank you subscribers, you made a difference. My mission on starting the channel was to inspire the present and coming generations to live by the eternal human principles. These principles such as loyalty, integrity, respect for elders, respect for diversity, respect for womanhood are eternal and do not change over time and place. It is my attempt through this channel to mold the thinking patterns of the present and coming generations so that they live by these eternal human principles. I al already have a Facebook group whose description and link is in the description of the channel. I also have a Facebook group whose link is given in the description of this video. I also have earlier released a video on Mainawati Nana Sahib Peshwa's father, Nana Sahib Peshwa and the bravery and courage with which he revolted against the British and led the mutiny of 1857 against the British East India Company. Please also watch that video. Now, coming to our young martyr, freedom fighter, Mainawati Nana Sahib Peshwa. When the third British Anglo-Maratha War of 1818 was fought between 1817 and 1819, it was final and decisive. The conflict was won by the British East India Company and it led to the end of the Maratha Empire in Bharat. The British troop, led by Governor General Hastings, Francis Rawdon Hastings and the Hyderabad State, supported by General Thomas Hislop, carried out operations against Muslim Pindaris, 
mercenaries in the maratha army and then turned their attention on the marathas themselves loss in the battle of the loss in the battle for the marathas resulted in formal end of the peshwa rule chhatrapati the title of the maratha empire was put under british control shinde holkar and bhosle rulers were brought under british control and british east india company took control of all the maratha territories the chhatrapati or maratha empire emperor was given a british monthly pension bajirao peshwa too was forced to sign the surrender treaty and accept a pension from the british government he was also forced to reside in bithnur near kanpur as per provisions of the surrender treaty nana saheb peshwa the adopted son of bajirao peshwa too was to succeed as the next peshwa but the british were treacherous and did not recognize nana saheb peshwa and rejected his pension claims he embarrassed by this decided to take part in the revolt of 1857 and lead the indian princes kings and queens joint forces against the british in the revolt of 1857 manavati nanasaheb peshwa was the daughter of nanasaheb peshwa and she was brought up with much love and affection by her father nana saheb peshwa by the time of the revolt of 1857 manam vati nana saheb peshwa was already a peshwa princess well versed in the traditions and customs of her family and also in battle strategy and sword fighting horse riding as was the custom of the peshwas she inherited from her father bravery courage and valor living in bitnur camp inside the british cantonment she was also very proficient in the english language 1857 during the kanpur mutiny peshwa took control of the bitnur camp and the soldiers looted the city and set fire to the british cantonment this also set free bibi ka ghar and saat chavra british women and children were also captured and most of the british officers and men were killed the idea was of the commanders of nana saheb peshwa that the women and children were to be used as a leverage against incoming british forces however nana saheb peshwa was chivalrous and he did not want to use the women and children as a bargaining chip he gathered all the british women and children including a few british officers who had survived and took care of them for two days he then put in charge of all these women and children his daughter manavati nana saheb peshwa and requested her to ensure that the safe passage for these officers women and their children was given to the nearest british camp while manavati was away ensuring the safe pa- passage of the captured british army officers and the women and children the british army won a decisive battle at kanpur and bitur and nana saheb peshwa was forced to flee before nana saheb peshwa left he had had a conversation with his daughter saying that be alert always as the british are not chivalrous and are known to mistreat captured women and children to this young manavati nana saheb peshwa who was all of 
14 years old, replied to her father that she was a Maratha princess and she knew well enough and was trained well enough to defend her own honor and the honor of the Maratha empire. A brave, courageous young girl who took it upon herself to ensure safe passage of the enemy on the orders of her father. General Thomas, meantime, had entered the Kanpur cantonment and stood outside the Maratha palace. Unknown to Manavati, the British authorities had taken cap over Kanpur cantonment. Manavati post safely handing over the British officers, women and children to the nearest British camp, returned to her palace and stood on the rampart as she could not find her father and his soldiers in the palace. She was spotted by General Thomas and they started firing on the palace of the Marathas where Manavati was standing. She ordered that General Thomas stop firing his cannons on the palace. But General Thomas did not accede to her request and raised the Maratha palace to the ground and captured young princess Manavati Nana Sahib Peshwa. General Thomas started torturing young Manavati Nana Sahib Peshwa for the whereabouts of her father which Nana Sahib had disclosed to her before his departure from Kanpur cantonment. Manavati Nana Sahib Peshwa knew that the future of the mut mutiny of 1857 was in her hands and if she re revealed the whereabouts of her father, the British authorities may capture him and other kings and queens involved in the mutiny and that would be the end of the struggle, Indian struggle for freedom from British East India Company. She underwent immense torture, but she stated openly to the British authorities, I am a Maratha princess and I will never share with you the location of my father. Failing to succeed by any means of torture, into getting Manavati to re reveal the details of her father's whereabouts. Finally, General Thomas bought Manavati near an open field and there he tried her to a tree. He told her that they would be burning her alive tied to the tree unless she revealed the whereabouts of her father. To ensure that this humiliation and that the public understood that the British authorities will take horrendous revenge on anyone who decides to revolt against them, the common citizens of Kanpur were all gathered in front of the tree. And there, again, Manavati Nana Sahib Peshwa was questioned about the whereabouts of her father. The young 14-year-old daughter of Nana Sahib Peshwa refused to reveal the whereabouts of her father and she was burnt alive on the stake on 3rd September of 1857. The brave young Maratha princess died, burnt alive and suffered much torture before her death. But this brave young princess chose death rather than revealing the whereabouts of her father Nana Sahib Peshwa. A woman, a courageous, brave warrior Maratha princess Manavati Nana Sahib Peshwa, freedom fighter, 
a forgotten heroine of the revolt of 1857. This video is my tribute to the brave, courageous daughter of Nana Sahib Peshwa, Mainawati Nana Sahib Peshwa, who died silently in the raging fire so that the fire of the revolt and mutiny for Bharat's freedom never got extinguished. It is thanks to forgotten revolutionaries, freedom fighters such as Mainawati Nana Sahib Peshwa that Bharat is independent. Friends, I am sure you enjoy such videos which I bring for you on inspirational people who have lived by the eternal human principles. I request you once again, kindly subscribe to the channel, generous, gracious and gallant. The next video which I will bring for you on this channel is again about another forgotten revolutionary who India has somehow forgotten, who played a part in the revolt of 1857, a woman revolutionary freedom fighter who decided to take up arms against the British army. Till we meet again my friends, good luck, all the best, stay safe.